Welcome back to the channel everyone, Adam from RC Action Australia. So, as you can see here, I've got the Nova Fox in front of me. It's a beautiful looking buggy, it's come together quite nice. A few little issues that I had with it, but we'll run through that um, as we get on with the build video. I'll come back to you with um, things that I found, things to watch out for, and a few little uh, custom touches that I've made to the kit. So before we get on to the Nova Fox, um, as you can see, beautiful looking kit. I just wanted to talk, um, obviously, as I always do, big thanks to everyone who has liked and subscribed. Um, if you can hit subscribe, hit like, chuck some comments down below, that would be absolutely awesome and very much appreciated. Love looking forward to the comments uh, and obviously people then you can head over to my Facebook and Instagram page, always new people there showing me their fantastic builds. And we also have our Facebook group page. So last video we had about 240 um, members, we're up to about 260 odd now, so I'll put a picture of what that looks like. All the links will be down in the description. So, as you can see beside me here, we have the egress. So, this is a build coming very, very soon on the channel. Uh, if you didn't look at my last video, it was the unboxing of the 2011 Avanti. So I'll chuck a link for that up above so you can go and check out that awesome looking kit. The Egress, unfortunately it's not my kit. It was sent in by a subscriber for me to build on the channel. There was a few issues with this car. They picked it off someone very, very, very cheap. There was a few things that were opened. Um, it was a part of the build that was started. So I've actually gone through it. There's nothing missing. There's nothing wrong with it. So um, yes, the person uh, was extremely lucky at what they got this for. Um, yeah, pretty much picked it up for next to nothing compared to what you're seeing them sell for. So very, very fortunate. And I'm very fortunate I have an awesome subscriber that sent it to me with a whole heap of their um, electronics and what they want it to go into. Plus they're gonna go a slight variation from the box art. So also very awesome. Oh, almost forgot too. I also received a Schumacher Top Cat. Uh, this is the classic two wheel drive uh, buggy. So this will be coming up on the channel as well. So all the more reasons to hit like and subscribe. So I've got the um, upgraded gearbox, the brass uh, weighted front end coming for this. And I've also got a spare body and a slightly different wing coming for this as well. So I do actually like the box art sort of colors. So I'm thinking of doing a box art inspired, so not exactly the uh, exactly the same as this, but something box art inspired, plus I want to go full retro, flat, you know, bright, bright colours. So that'll be an awesome build coming soon on the channel, just waiting for a fair few other upgrade parts to arrive before I really want to start it. So awesome things coming, guys. So back to today's video, the Nova Fox. Um, yeah, so I reckon we just crack over to the, the build video, the little montage that I've put together showing you how beautifully this comes together. And then I think what I'll do is I'll come back and we will talk about um, my first impressions of the kit, sort of what build difficulties I found and what were the, you know, some of the uh, issues I did have with the car because I did have some issues with the gearbox. So the gearbox turned out an absolute nightmare on this car and I had to actually buy a new gear set because something majorly went wrong um, when I did the first test drive. So let's flick over to the build video and then I'll come back and tell you all about it. So as you can see for this build guys I went completely in reverse. I built the body first and then I put the decals and the driver figure before moving on to the car itself.
So the build comes together quite easily as you can see. Just got to be careful that you get everything set up as you want it to start with because as you can see in the video there the chassis is like a sandwich design chassis so once everything goes in it gets bolted together so it makes it very difficult for accessing the electronics afterwards. So it's quite a simple build as you can see, not a lot involved, um, comes together quite nicely so I would recommend it for anyone wishing to step into something a little bit more if you have had a grasshopper or that style of Tamiya, I would recommend this as a next build. As you can see from that build video, the actual car did come together quite nicely. Um, a little bit fr frustrating because everything is um, sandwiched into that enclosed uh, center sort of uh, chassis design, which is awesome for keeping dust out, but a nightmare if you do want to change electrics or you want to um, rebind receivers or set, sail, uh, um, set certain settings on certain speed controllers is what I was getting at. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much a set and forget style of car. So that's my recommendations for that. Now my gearbox nightmares for this car, I built the gearbox, and, you know, it spun pretty easily. It was a little bit noisy. I originally had the sport tune motor in it, as you would have seen in that build video, but I've since swapped it out for two reasons. The uh, motor wires aren't long enough and I had them sort of hanging out the side around the suspension here, I didn't really like that. And obviously my first run of the car, with that sport tune motor, I destroyed the gearbox. Now it wasn't a pinion to the drive gear issue, it was the actual diff, just shredded. So I'm not sure what happened. I got online, I was very fortunate enough to find another gear set, so I've chucked that in. And I also online found out that if you over tighten the gearbox housing, so there's a few screws around the uh, actual gearbox, that the gears can actually um, get a little bit of resistance, they rub on the outer casing, and um, that can cause some extra load, and possibly some gearbox issues. I've also read that the gears in this, the nylon gears in this are very soft, and um, yeah, I don't know why, but apparently the original Nova, the original Fox had gearbox issues and there's a bit online around the Nova Fox having similar gearbox issues. So for me, I think I'll just leave it, uh, stick to the uh, standard motor. Um, I have actually run this a few times and the gearbox has loosened up really, really nicely. So whether there's just, um, you've just got to wear, wear in the gearbox a little bit more before you put a little bit of extra power into it. But since I'm um, running this, just a quick little test run with about 20% throttle, just outside, um, the gearbox has become a lot smoother on this car. Now I also put uh, some bearings in the front wheel hubs. Tamiya supplies bearings for the gearbox but not for the front wheels. I don't know why Tamiya continually give us kits without bearings. It's really annoying and they cost next to nothing. Tamiya, just add bearings to the kit. Now, the paint job, as you can see, it's not a box art paint job. I'll just take the cover off for you guys. So, I've left off some of the stickers. Um, I just don't think you need to put the, you know, the numbers all over it and I think it's a nicer finish without the extra number over the front there. 
So box art is PS4. I went with the PS59, which um, as you can see, it's a slight variation of the box art and just gives it a little bit of extra sort of customizing without venturing too far off that box art um, sort of uh, inspired look because I do think it looks good in blue. What else have I done? So I spent a little bit of time with the driver. Now driver figures is not my strong point, but I'm slowly getting better at them. So as you can see, I have um, put a little bit of extra detail into some you know, sponsorship on the, the seat belts on the side of the driver there and a few leftover decals that I've had laying around, I put on the helmet. So nice little uh, touch, a little bit of extra detail. Um, it definitely just sort of makes it you know, a little bit more custom, a little bit more individual. So that's pretty much the car. Would I recommend it? Of course I would recommend it. It's a beautiful looking buggy. It's, it's actually a two wheel drive version of the Tamiya Hotshot. It went together quite easily apart from my gearbox dramas. So please pay attention when you're building the gearbox. Um, whether I just miss something first time round, um, it's easily done. Um, the best of us make mistakes. Um, or whether I just over tighten some of the casing there. I don't know guys, so just take a bit of extra care when building that gearbox and maybe, um, you know, from my experience, just give it a real light run for its first go just until you sort of get that gearbox nice and smooth like mine is now because it was definitely not like that after I built it. Now I have had similar um, experiences on some other builds, um, the Terra Scorcher. The rear diff in this loosened up a lot after its first drive. So, um, and again, I think it's just getting used to, you know, sometimes I find on some of the builds after the first run, everything feels a bit smoother once it sets in and whether it's just the grease gets moved around. So yeah, awesome build. Can't wait to sort of get it out and do a full running video for you guys. So um, I'll leave it there for today's video. As I said, lots of other content coming. I've got the Egress build coming. I've got the Schumacher Top Cat. And I've got a whole host of other bits and pieces coming as well. So I'm trying to get my hand on a VQS. Um, because I do have the original Vanquish up here behind me. So I'm trying to... Um, this car is in great condition. The um, I've just put a, a motor and a servo in it. And um, as you can see, this is in beautiful condition. There's actually nothing wrong with it at all. Um, it's got the high caps on it. And I do actually plan on just taking this out and do a light run. So, but in saying that, I think I will get a VQS and use that as the runner so I can keep this in like a pristine condition. So that's coming up on the channel as well. So until next time, um, Thanks for watching as always, uh, your support is very much appreciated. Hit like, hit subscribe, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.